Hi everyone, Teacher Source here, and man, am I stressed. Back to school, here we come, and it's going to be a way different school year. Um, I wanted to show you real quick my back to school digital pack, and it has classroom community resources, so just a lot of get your ears started off with learning about your students, having them learn about each other, goal setting, some math manipulatives, what else is in there? A digital planner that you can use and some other good stuff. So let me show you the 10 different products that are included in this bundle. It is a $12.50 value, um, $12.50 value, and it is on sale for $9 right now. So let me show you real quick what is included. The first thing that's included is an at-home distance learning rewards and log. And before I move on, um, I wanted to mention that everything is Seesaw and Google linked for your ease, hopefully, for this virtual learning that we're doing. In this specific product, you're going to be seeing um, like a packet that your kids could use at home, or again, you could have this assigned digitally, where they're going to be looking at what they need to do each day. And you could pre-fill this out with the date and what they need to do and then what they actually got done and then their parents sign it. Kind of like a reading log in a way, but it's just holding the kids accountable. And they're going to be coming up with a goal that they have for themselves that week. So um, whether it is they want to get all their work done four days out of the week or they really want to focus on doing their reading every day. Whatever it is, they come up with a goal and then what they want to work towards. And what they want to work towards can be decided with a list. Do they want to work towards you know, um, purchasing a new video game or getting candy at the store or getting to choose the TV show one night or playing a family game. So they're going to come up with a list of things that they want to work towards, choosing a reward for themselves. And then there are actual coupons that I've already made that they could use for the rewards or there's blank ones that they can come up with with their family that would work best for them. So that is that product. The next one is a math manipulatives packet, math manipulatives packet, and this is printable um, for the kids to use, utilize at home. And inside here, it tells you all the different things that are in the packet. There is flashcards, there's fraction strips, there are cubes that they can turn into dice for games. There are hundreds charts, mul mul hundreds charts, multiplication chart. There is. Let me scoot forward here a second. There are ten frames, little. Um, circles that they can use on the 10 frames. Here's the dice. They have a measuring tape that they can create. Spinners they could use at home. Clocks that they can um, create that they can uh, practice different times on the clocks and then different shapes that they can use. Making your own equations as well. So lots of different options here for some math manipulatives. Wow, I'm struggling tonight. Um, that they can use at home. The next one is the student goal setting. I feel very strongly about student goal setting, and I do this, obviously, in my classroom when we're in person, but we can still do this digitally. I think setting a tone that we set goals for ourselves, even if we're not in, in physical school, that we're still trying to attain something. We're still working towards something. So this is a step-by-step -step process as to how the kids, of course, my computer's being slow. Lovely. Let me reload this bad boy. Oh, perfect. I might have to come back to I'll come back to that one. The next one is a Seesaw sticker book, and this is step-by-step -step instructions. There's actually a really great video in here on how you can assign sticker books to utilize um, them in your classroom where your kids would, um, you could predetermine what activities you want them to be working on, and then you can give them a sticker when they finish that assignment so they can visually see what assignments they have finished and what assignments they have not. Our students love this and you can make super cute like Bitmoji stickers or um, different websites have really cute free downloadable stickers or ones you can purchase. Okay, the next one is a, just a freebie, a digital citizenship poster that you can use either to print out and give to your students, post it on your different um, virtual sites that you're using or when you're in your meetings, you can talk through these things. They're just like eight simple rules that you, they need to follow to be a good digital citizen. Next one is the back to school getting to know you glyph. And this is really fun. Um, they will follow different directions to show information about themselves. So the t-shirt color on the person, here's my example, represents how many brothers and sisters do they have. They're gonna make it solid if they have zero siblings, stripes if they have one sibling, polka dots if they have two. 
So they show different information about themselves through these different kind of like rules and symbols. My kids love doing this. And this is really great because it lends itself well to doing the character trait stick figure map where they're talking about characters in their books. This kind of like gives them a precursor, but it's also super fun. Let me just show you how this is going to look for Seesaw. It's going to be the same for Google, but obviously in Google form. Um, this is going to be the activity. You can save the activity. You can edit the activity and add things you want. But it's right here, ready to go, ready to assign your kiddos. Next one is a back-to-school bingo. And this can be done virtually. Um, I've made all of the bingo boards are in Seesaw or Google where they will get to choose their... Um, the board that they want to use, there's 10 different versions, and then you, what you would do is you're going to call out different information. Let me go back and show you what it would look like. And there's little counters that I've put on Google and Seesaw that they can actually manipulate little emojis to put over the markers. But you're going to read different cards off, and you're going to say, um, saw a movie. And then if, if there be, um, sorry, I won they saw a movie, they're going to put a counter over I won. Went to the park, N1. If they're N1, they went to the park, they're going to mark it over N1. So it's just a fun way of the kids to get to know each other. All about me math, we usually do this in class, but I thought it'd be just as easy virtually, and there's specific directions here on how to do it virtually. But they're going to create different equations about themselves so that their classmates can get to know them, how old they are, how many people in their family, what their shoe size is. And you can use this doing like simple adding problems, multiplication problems, fractions, like whatever level of ability your students are, this can be manipulated for. You can hear my daughter in the background. This is really nice. They're editable remote learning flyers, and I've made them in a ton of different color combinations and made little different titles for them, so you can call them different things depending on what verbiage you're using in your district. But we are going to be utilizing them for PBIS um, just for learning expectations to connect them to what we talk about in school, but you as a teacher could make your own up as to these are the top three rules, the golden three rules that you need to follow during distance learning, um, and there you can use text boxes to add your information in there. And then this is the digital weekly planner, and it is linked every single month, Seesaw and Google, and you can have the kids, you could pre-make a packet for them, you can assign it on Seesaw. It could be like you have a problem a day, and this is where they fill out their information. Um, lots of different uses for this. There's a big, long list of different ways you could utilize this. Um, you could use it for your own weekly planning. Uh, I've, I'm going to use it for my small groups. I'm going to put in there like what I'm doing with each group every day. You could use it for um, your lessons and objectives. You could post your weekly plans in them. You could use it for lesson planning. You could use it for... The kids, like I said, doing like a math problem a day where they put their answer there or a question a day. Um, but they're super cute. Each month has a different looking theme, just depending on the month. And all the dates are pre-labeled in there for you, ready to go. There's weekend ones in case you want to have them do something over the weekend. There's an extra little space here in the bottom left if you have something else that you would like them to work on. But just super cute, the different months here. Let me see if I can pull up that rewards. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Let's see if this is the right one. Yes. Okay. So this is the re rewards I was talking about earlier that um, you know went away earlier. Um, no, I actually talked about this one. I needed this one. Man, I seriously, tomorrow was our first day back and my brain is scrambled. Okay, so here's the student goal setting um, and it's going to show you how you could use this digitally. Here's the links. You could use this as a bulletin board option too if you were in class, but obviously in the future you could use it that way. These are just some fun posters to put up just about how goal setting is important. Um, again, these are all the bulletin board pieces for that example. But the kids would have a packet. I like to do like big goal setting every trimester. You could do this for each subject area. You could do it for every month, however you see fit. But you can, um, let me flip down to here. It just goes step by step. And what I recommend, obviously, is modeling this with your own ideas and then having them practice. So this could be a multiple day thing where you're telling them how to create a specific um, goal for themselves, creating a SMART goal. It needs to be specific, measurable, action 
realistic, and timing. And then they're going to come up with a personal goal, academic goal, an emotional, social goal. Or you could just do one of them, two of them, whatever you like to do. Then they're going to make a plan as to how they're going to achieve the goal. Okay, then they're going to reflect on it. And then they're going to see if, yes, I met my goal, I'm going to make a new one. Or no, I did not. What stopped me from meeting that goal and what do I need to do? So this is a fun way to get your students still goal setting digitally. Let me go real quick and show you what this would look like in Google since I've done a lot of Seesaw examples. Any of the Google products, you're going to make a copy, obviously, for yourself first. And you can rename it whatever you want, your kiddos. And then all of the Google, Google resources should have text boxes linked in already. Okay. Down here. So, for example, they'd click type here for any of this information. My goal, type here. So, all the text boxes are already in there. So, that can be working digitally or in class, or if you want to use it for modeling purposes, and then they're doing this independently. Lots of different options, but a lot of options that you can use just to get your year started, getting to know your kids, goal setting, just setting yourself up for them to really learn that technology piece. Like, that's what we're kind of going to be focusing on. At least the first week, I would assume, just getting the kids on the technology, manipulating the different icons and learning all about that. But you could use these activities as a lens for them to learn those skills. And they're just more kind of like basic and fun and not super deep yet. So please let me know if you have any questions and good luck this fall. We got this.